CBS News political correspondent Caitlin Huey Burns joins us now from Washington with more on uh, DC's reaction to what continues to happen across the country. Caitlin, how are lawmakers responding to the Nashville school shooting specifically? Well, Errol, unfortunately, we've been in the situation so many times before, and this is following the familiar pattern of Democrats calling for action on gun legislation, uh, Republicans reluctant to go that route, arguing for uh, less federal intervention. Um, and so we're kind of seeing a familiar pattern after these school shootings. What's interesting, though, is that, you know, last year we did see a bipartisan compromise piece of legislation that was signed into law by President Biden. Um, it was a much more watered-down version of what uh, gun um, um, restriction advocates would have liked, gun safety advocates would have liked, but essentially it enhanced background checks for those under 21, um, provided lots of money for mental health, um, closed that, that boyfriend loophole to prevent some of domestic abusers from getting a gun, and also provided grants for states to implement these red flag laws. So. Um, you know, if you had concerns about a, a family member or loved one, you could petition the court to um, have those person that that person's uh, guns taken away. Uh, that was a compromise bill passed last June, signed by the president. But it has really kind of fallen off the radar here. And what we're seeing from the White House is acknowledging that and other executive actions that the president has taken, but really limited in terms of his role. So again, calling on Congress uh, to take some kind of action here and. The biggest ask that they have from Congress is an assault weapons ban. And you both know from covering this, and I know from covering Capitol Hill, that that is just going nowhere yeah. on Capitol Hill. There's just not the appetite among Republicans, but there's also not an appetite among some moderate Democrats, especially those in red states who are up for re-election re this coming mm -hmm. cycle. Yeah, I mean, when, when it was passed in the past, you didn't have the amount of, you know, marketing and consumer interests in these types of weapons. Now it's like for a lot of people, I mean, I've spent so much time in Texas and meeting people who, who own these types of weapons, and, and they, they can't mm -hmm. imagine supporting a ban.